Hey you guys, Shanine here and I am back. So listen, today I had a job interview today. Yay! So I am one of those stay-at-home moms that is currently looking for a job, okay? Stay at home was not my intentions. It drives me crazy sometimes and I'm so used to working, been working since I was 15. Now I feel completely awkward without a job. But to God be the glory, he has been blessing me with other alternatives to make sure that I'm able to take care of my family and do what I need to do. Um, and I've been good. So I went on this interview for this job daycare, I mean for this daycare teaching job. And it's been a long time since I've done that. Um, I actually was in my early 20s the last time I worked with kids. And her only concern was if I was going to be overwhelmed. But child, honey, I want this job so bad. And believe me, it's not going to be overwhelming for me. And because it's my passion. One of my passions is being a teacher. I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to teach something. Whether it was kids, adults, it don't even matter. I am. I just have teach mode in me. Uh, which is why I think I do so oh, do great when it comes to like doing direct sales and online business and trainings and stuff like that because I like teaching people. But anyway, so I was procrastinating on going down here because I thought that I was probably lacking some credentials. You know, I noticed a lot of jobs, they want you to have a degree of some sort. And guys, school is so expensive. And that's the reason why I don't have a degree now. I have a license as a cosmetologist, but I don't have a college degree. Um, I started going to school straight after high, uh, college, straight out of high school. And I was determined my major was teacher education. And I was going to go. I was in it full-fledged, giving it my 110%, but the shit got expensive, okay? Let's just put it like that. It got expensive for me because I was paying out of pocket, so I was having to work and go to school, but my checks from work was paying for my school, and it just wasn't balancing out. So I had to quit school um, because I also had an apartment of my own with a roommate. So, you know, how that goes. So then... I've had a couple of jobs since then. I worked in corporate America. That's one job that I don't want to go back to is corporate America. Corporate America, I think, ages you <laughs> like for real because I did accounts payable for six years and I have never been that stressed at a job in my entire life until I started working there. And um, child, I just ain't, I would rather do something that I know I would enjoy. So, I got a second interview tomorrow, so I'll be observing. I'll be actually sitting in one of the classrooms with another teacher and observing and interacting and stuff like that. And so hopefully that works out. She wants me to come for like an hour and a half and dress comfortably and all that. Um, so that's pretty cool. So anyways, yesterday I had posted, oh, it's not up yet. Or I don't know, it might be up by the time you see this video, but... Um, I went back to CVS yesterday. Now, I know in a previous video, I was saying I am not that chick that goes to CVS two, three times a week. However, I would like to take that statement back because I was that chick this week, okay? They had some good deals going on and I had coupons for a lot of stuff. And so that's what I did. Um... And yesterday I went back because I actually, one deal that I wanted to do that you guys didn't see, you're only going to see a photo of it, is uh, the gear deodorant. Um, this deal right here, when I went to the store, to the CVS originally, the coupon was not available for me yet. I don't know why, because I went on my website, Be Your Own Boss Network, and then I also went on coupons.com, and the gear coupon wasn't available the day that I went to the store. Yesterday, it was available. I don't know if it's the area I live in. I don't know. But anyway, I don't care because I printed out two of them because you can do this deal twice. Um, so I did. What I did was I went into the store with $4 in extra care bucks. I picked up uh, one because I, at the time I didn't know that you could do it twice. So, of course, I only picked up one first and then I paid with $2 in extra care bucks and then I got $2 in extra care bucks back. So, this was basically 24 cents was the tax for this one. And when I looked at the paper, I realized I could do the deal again. So, I took the same $2 that I got from this one and I stacked it with a printable coupon, $2 off for this one. Now, these are $4. So, for me, these were basically free and I only had to pay 18 cents for this one. 
why the tax was different on this one than it was that one, I have no idea. No. Was it 18 cents? It was 24 cents? It was 26 cents for this and 14 cents for this tax. Why the tax was different, I don't know because it's the same product. But anyway, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. So if you are in the market for some deodorant, that's a way that you can do it. Now, if you don't, if you haven't walked, if you don't go into CVS with extra care bucks, then what, how the deal will work is you pick up one, you use your $2 off coupon, you pay $2 plus tax, and then you get a $2 extra care buck back. It'll still make it free because you're getting your $2 back. Um, I just happen to have extra care bucks going into the store and that's what I use. So that's how I did that. So today I went to, um, I just wanted to show that, show you guys that. Oh, there's also a Moby Save. Look at the video. I think it's a 30 cents off. I think it's 30 cents off on deodorant. Um, the thing about Mo Moby Save is if you have, Moby Save did not used to be an app for Androids. I tried to download it months ago when I first started couponing and it just became available, I don't know when, but recently for Android. So I was able to download the app. Now, this app is a little bit differently than Saving Star, Checkout 51 and all that because with Moby Save, you have to actually click on the item you know on the app before you make the purchase whereas like checkout 51 and all that you can click after the fact and then upload your receipt and bam there it is with Moby Save, they're not gonna accept your receipt if you've clicked the item after you made the purchase so remember that if you're using Moby Save, click the item first there's two items that you can use this week at CVS there's the the, the deodorant cashback rebate and there's a hand so no that's checkout 51 I think um, and there's a uh, dish detergent for 25 cent, I think. But make sure you click on them first on the app before you actually go to the store so that you don't forget. Because then if you forget, you go home, you try to upload your receipt, it's not going to work. It's gonna, you're going to get an email saying that um, unfortunately they couldn't accept your receipt because you didn't click on the item before the purchase was made so you literally have up until the very second that you make the purchase to click the item just be sure you click it before you check out okay so you can like be standing in line about to check out and click it and you'll be fine so anyway I went to Rite Aid because they had a 40% and I was praying that they would have this lipstick that I've been looking for for the longest I'm trying to get into more lipsticks and stuff because I'm a lip gloss girl like a clear lip gloss girl with a little lighter but I'm getting older and it's time for me to change my look a little bit so um, I've picked up over the past few months I've, I've did several wet n wild deals I've got nail polishes and eyeshadow and lipstick um, but every time I do this, the Wet n Wild deals, they never have the two lipsticks that I actually want. The other lipsticks that I have are more like red on the red side, but I wanted something darker. So, yes, I was so excited when I went into Rite Aid. First of all, nobody was in there, so that was great. Second of all, they were stocked up completely on Wet n Wild, um products. Everything is 40% off. Now, if you go to freestuffinder.com, I think her name is Tina. She posts an actual uh, deal that you can do with Wet n Wild with the eyeshadow. And it'll make the eyeshadow nine cents. Okay. I didn't do the eyeshadow. So my prices are going to be a little different from what you see other people might do. Um, I went, since I already have a bunch of eyeshadow and stuff like that, I just went for the lipsticks that I wanted. So. What I picked up first was this uh, color color icon pencil. This is a Plumberry, I think that yeah, Plumberry 715 Plumberry, and I got this because of one of the Wet n Wild lipsticks that I have. It looks kind of red, but got like a, a kind of sort of like a purple undertone to it. So I have to add liner to make that purple part you know the purple pop out so and I use black liner and sometimes the black liner don't go so smooth so I said well let me pick up something that's more like a plum purple type of thing going on and see how that works so I picked that up this was 99 cents so this is one of those products that would be nine cents after you give your coupons because it's 40% off 
which is going to make this 59 cents. And then once you give her your 50 cent off any Wet n Wild product, then it'll make it 9 cents. So this, the nail polish and the regular cream lipsticks are 99 cents. Everything else is like $1.99, $2.99. I think the mascaras was $1.99. The butter bombs, I think that's what they're called, were $2.99 or whatever. Anyways, so moving on. Um, so I also picked up these two colors. Thank you, Jesus. I found them, y'all. Yes. This is Cherry Bomb. I don't know if you guys could see that. And this is Vamp It Up. The cashier, I was so glad I got, they had this one and another one. And the cashier, she was like, the Vamp It Up is the most popular. Um, so I'm going to try it out because I actually saw somebody with this color on one time. And I thought it was really pretty on them. So I said, well, hey, you know, let's give it a try. So I got these three. So I had three fifty cent off coupons. So these right here are $1.99 because this is the matte lipstick um the cream the regular cream those are 99 cents these are 199 so 40 percent off of that is 119 so they took 80 cents off and then with the 50 cent coupon i don't know made it like 60 something maybe 50 something cents 60 something cents i don't know but anyway all in all after coupons i had a total of a dollar and 68 cents and that was including tax so basically when you think about it because these are 199 without the discount i basically got this one with a few cents off and then got these two for free if you want to look at it like that so that was pretty cool so I just wanted to come in and share that with you guys because I don't know how what your look is on finding wet and wild products wet and wild products are probably the cheapest as far as uh, cosmetics in a drugstore is concerned but they go so fast like the CVS down the street they go so fast especially the lipsticks so thank you Rite Aid <laughs> but anyway that's all I want to say to you guys I was I didn't mean to take up all of your time but um, if you enjoyed, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you can become a subby. Um, you can comment below if you've picked up some Rite Aid deals or if you've picked up any CVS deals that you did not see me mention here. Or if you just want to share because I am a couponer. I'm, I'm a new couponer, but I, there are other viewers that view my channel that are couponers too. And I'm quite sure they would love for you to share whatever deals that you picked up and whatever coupons that you use because you know pay it forward you know what I mean oh another thing that I want to say too was I have one person that I'm gonna be sending my overflow of pet coupons to I need one person that I can send my overflow of baby items to so if that's you and you have a baby you're on a budget you don't have a lot of money to spend but you want to get in on some of these deals at CVS Walmart or whoever that has deals on Huggies and Pampers and baby wipes and all that stuff let me know and then I will send those coupons to you so that you can start saving money and then you can start going on ahead and getting your coupon on you know so yeah, do that. So comment below if you would like to have baby coupons, baby item coupons sent to you because maybe you have a newborn or whatever, or you just, you know, um, your finances ain't where they, where you want them to be or whatever the reason. It doesn't matter what the reason is. I just need to find somebody to give them to because I don't want to throw them away, you know, because I don't have a baby anymore. There's no babies in my house, so I have no use for Pampers. Now, the baby wipes, I keep those sometimes because I use them for Olivia, but like when we're in the car and I wipe her face and stuff, but diapers and baby formula and all that. Mm -mm, not in this house. So if you need them, let me know. Just comment and let me know. So anyways... That's enough because I think I've been rambling on and I've got somewhat of a toothache so uh, or I don't know what's going on with my mouth but I feel like I'm I got a big old gumball in my mouth or something but anyway it's neither here nor there um thank you guys for checking out my channel today hello to all my new subscribers and I will see you guys on the next video bye